Hey YouTubers, this is going to be a quick little crafty um, haul. Charlie says hi. And uh, anyway, so let's get started. Of course, all the stuff I haven't, I didn't buy it all in one day. Um, a lot of it I just kind of accumulated over the month. So first of all, let's get started. I don't have a ton of it either, it's just random stuff. This is a ring mandrel. It has all of the different ring sizes that your little heart desires, all the way from 1 to 13. It also came with this nifty, it's detachable, it's a um, little ring size that you put on your finger to see, you know, what size your, your size your finger is. Um, this is a plastic one, my boyfriend got it for me for Valentine's Day. Um, I think it was off eBay for $4 and it was overnight um, delivery. So I'm pretty excited about that because I'm into making rings right now. Here's a couple of examples that I will show you now. Here is a stone ring, a rosette ring, oh wait this is kind of a crappy one, a rosette ring, and doesn't focus. Those are copper, this one is silver and copper. Anyways, I'm into making uh, rings right now, so um, I went to Hobby Lobby to get some thicker wire because I need, um, you want your rings to hold the shape so um, that you want to mold them into. So, you know, flappy little regular wire that you would use isn't, like, good enough. You have to use thicker wire. So the smaller the number, um, the thicker the wire is. So I bought some 18 gauge. This is Artistic Wire. That's the brand. This is on sale for $3.99. This is copper, non-tarnish. I like this container because in the back right here, this little hole, you open this, and this little hole, um, you pull the wire out of. And it comes right, I think, yeah, it even has a little hole that you pop it, pop out so that the wire just kind of hangs right here and you just pull it however you want. I also got a silver one, because silver's my favorite, and this was $5.99 from the Artistic Wire Non-Tarnish, it's from Hobby Lobby. I don't really like Hobby Lobby because they're awfully expensive, but I do like those, and I, I'm not, I look like Joanne Fabrics kind of girl, but at Joanne's they didn't have anything higher than like, or anything smaller than like 22 gauge wire, so that was not cool. Um, I don't have the, con the container this came in, but this is um, Magic Stretchy Cord. Um, yeah, so this is cool. I made a few um, bracelets with this so I can show you some tutorials on that. Um, along with the wire at Hobby Lobby, I got these beads so that I could have something um, fancy to string on the top of my ring if I want it to. Like, you know, I can put one as, my, as that. And this, these are glass beads. This is green. This was, everything I always buy is on sale. This has $3.99, but I believe it was like 25% off, so Yay! Um, next I got these right here from Joann's. This is Pale Pistachio. I know the light is like blinding you. This is Pale Pistachio, which is very, very pretty. It looks like that, um, the color that you get, um, what's that ice cream called? I think it's like mint chocolate chip ice cream. That's what this looks like to me. Um, I really, really think this is going to be nice, so I need to pr like play with this, but um, this is Sculpey brand, usually I buy Fimo because it's um, the most durable, but it was 97 cents, oh that was my main point, this was 97 cents. Also this was 97 cents, this is Primo Sculpey, just another version of uh, Sculpey, and this one is in Red Pearl. Um, if you're into Sculpey or into making different things, you know that um, you have to bake everything that you make, so anyways, it says all of that on the labels. And a couple of the last things I got. I've never tried this before. This is Sculpey brand, uh, what is it called? Bacon Bond Bakeable Adhesive for Polymer Clay. I have never used this before, but I thought I might because it was on sale from, I think it was like 6 to $8. It was on sale for $2. So I figured I should try it. I did make one thing with it so far, so we'll see. Um, and then the last thing I got were these stamps. I'm not really... Um, into paper things, but these stamps were so darn cute. This is a kissy face, and it was from Valentine's Day. Um, I guess that's how they were marketing it. So it was on sale for 97 cents because Valentine's Day is over. All you need is a love stamp, which I love. I think it's so adorable. This was on sale, I think it was about $3, but it was 40% off its original price, which made it $3. So pretty excited about that. And then I saw this one the other day. This one was 97 cents. Pretty excited about that. And then of course I had to get an ink pad. This was the cheapest ink pad they had. It was three dollars and it was also 40% off. And this is just plain black. Yeah. 
So I guess that's it. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you about this. I got, since I'm getting married, um, I got these little lettering things, these little iron-on letters, and uh, my color is going to be blue for my wedding, so I got a tank top to wear. I got this from Joanne Fabrics for $3.99, and it was 25% off. And anyways, my plans are to do like what I see everywhere being sold, but I don't want to pay for it. I'm just going to put bride right here in these fancy little silver letterings, and uh, these letterings are called iron-on soft flex letters, like that. Um, I bought two packages of these because I'm making lots of shirts and I made a purse and all kind of fun stuff. So yeah, these come with, I'll show you, like it comes with two of each letter, so A, B, C, D, and um, of course it has the whole alphabet, so I'm pretty excited about that and um, I know you know how to iron on letters, but I'm totally going to take you with me and show you how I do it. So anyways. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, hope not, or tutorial, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, hopefully I'm not forgetting anything, but if I did, I'll make another video. Um, hope you guys have a great day, see you in the next video, bye.